When you think of a fire plane, you're thinking water. How can I push as much water onto that fire as possible? The best recommendation I can give you is go ahead and put the largest tank you can afford on the highest part of your property. If you can get some gravity fed water to your property, in a worst case event, if you lose your pumps or you lose electricity and you can't pump water, at least you can gravity feed it down there and, and do some fire protection with that. A lot of you don't have a hill, a lot of you are on a flat lot, so that won't work. But if you do do anything, put, your, put your, all your pipes underground. Uh, I have run a lot of two inch pipe underground so I can move a lot of water throughout the property. This will protect it from freezing. This will protect it from uh, damage from children, four wheelers, and it will also protect it from fire. If you got your hoses running through and you get an area that's on fire and it burns your hose, then you're gonna be in a problem. The backbone is water, gravity is awesome, but you need some pumps. The pumps are going to give you the pressure that you're going to need, and you might not have the ability to gravity feed, so pumps are what you're going to look at. We're going to look at some pumps here. The first pump is just a utility pump. This pump puts out 23 gallons a minute. It only pulls about 8 amps. You just plug it right into a regular electrical outlet. Now this one is about $100 or less, so it's very affordable. Let me show you what this can do. Not a lot of water, but you're still putting out 23 or 23 gallons a minute. So if you had a pool, this would be ideal. You're not going to do a direct attack on a big fire, but you definitely can wet things down. And, and get you some fire protection with this pump. And it's only less than $100, so if you use grid power, you'll have no problems. A lot of preppers already have the generator. So if you lose power in your subdivision and you have a pool, your neighbor has a pool, combine your generator with a $100 pump and some garden hose, and you do have some fire protection. The next pump is basically a common 12 volt on demand. This is a 60 PSI. It only puts out about five and a half gallons a minute, so it's not a lot of water. I like this system because I can run it off my solar. I also can transfer water quietly. So if in a situation, in a raw or a crisis situation, I need to move some water, I can do it very quietly with this pump. Also great for irrigating, watering things. Basically, you have a battery, turn it on. A little less than the equivalent of my my garden hose off my well, but still, this gives you another way to fight fire. If you have a rain catchment, you can have someone on this, you can have someone on your garden hose, and, and you're doing something. When you shut this one off, it will turn the pump off because it's a pressure. This one is not pressure, so be very careful. Don't put a garden hose and put a, a nozzle on there. If you put one on, make sure the nozzle is always open. So when you do plug it in, the water has a place to go. Next one is a Honda. This is basically just a four stroke. I borrowed this pump. I have never used it. I've heard great results uh, that people that have it. The nice thing about this pump, it's only 13 pounds. So very lightweight. This might be an option compared to the heavy gas pumps. If you're an elderly person, uh, maybe you're some type of handicap, you can't lift a lot. This pump is only 13 pounds, so you'll be able to move it around. This is only gonna move about 37 gallons a minute, but still, that's a lot. If you got a pool and this pump, and it takes standard garden hoses, so everyone has those. I'm gonna do a complete review on Southern Prepper One on YouTube uh, and, and see really how good this pump is. Next, I'm gonna show you, this is the backbone. I have three of these pumps. Two are in a semi-permanent position, and then one is uh, where I can move it around and make an improvised brush truck. These ones range anywhere from five to six horse. Uh, they will put out 150 gallons a minute, which is a lot. It uses this two inch hose. So these pumps, are, you could do a direct attack on a fire. It'll give you a lot of water really quick.